Kevin here, Candy Banana Balls. How are you guys today, YouTube world? Hope you're doing excellent. Hope you guys are keeping and breeding your ball pythons and other reptiles and enjoying them daily. Uh, just a real short video. Um, I see this a lot on the Facebook um, Facebook forums and different things. You know, people get their snakes, um, they'll handle them once or twice. And then you'll see them take a picture and say, what is this? I don't know what this is. And if this guy will cooperate, I'm going to try to show you. Um, he don't like his tail being messed with too much. But look right there. See those? Those are what they call spurs. Um, that is the remnants, believe it or not, of legs, hind legs from these reptiles from, from thousands of years ago. That's what they are. Um, they really don't so serve much of a purpose for these guys other than for mating. They do use these to, um, say, initiate or part of the mating ritual. Uh, they are there, other than that, just from remnants of hind legs from many, many thousands of years ago. Uh, the males typically have larger spurs than the females, but that's... Uh, you know, that's a, a situation where I've seen plenty of females with large spurs and plenty of males with, you know, smaller ones. So that's really not a rule of thumb, so to speak, but um, that's what they say. They say the males typically have larger ones than the females. But I have seen, even in my small collection, uh, plenty of my females with a very large spurs. So uh, don't basically sex your snake based on what you see there and another thing you'll see online a lot is people saying uh, the length of the tail oh that's a male or a female because of the length of the tail to my knowledge and to all the research i've done with bigger breeders there's really nothing you can do visually looking at a snake to tell it's a male or female there's two different ways you can pop your snake um, which basically um, you'll bend the back tail section and definitely watch several videos before you try that um, because if you do it uh, with too much force and uh, don't do it correctly you could injure your snake and obviously you do not want to do that um, but popping them um, with the females um, basically nothing pops out um, you'll see very little color mostly everything is just uh, you know, white color flesh colored with the males you'll see a pink red and two if you do it correctly you'll get two what they call hemipenes um, or basically of their snake penises um, they have two um, that lock with the female that's what you'll see um, when you pop them if you do it correctly um, it you know being done with a professional um, very accurate but the problem is when you're not professional at it and you're just an amateur and myself included, you know, I can pop most of my snakes and tell, but uh, a lot of times it takes that uh, last bit of, I guess, professional testing, which is probing. Um, there's a probe kits, they're very cheap, um, available online, 10, 20, 30 dollars at most. And what you want to watch with those probe kits are they're basically just a metal rod with a small ball at the end. Make sure that it has that ball at the end because um, that is basically going down in the tail section of the snake and is going to stop at a different depth and let you know if that's a male or a female. So one, there's several different sizes for the size of the snake. Obviously, small uh, diameter for small snakes and the larger diameter for larger snakes. Um, but for a male, um, you're going to go to the right or left side of that tail, and the male, that probe is going to go down in the tail pretty far. Um, if it's a female, that probe is only going to go down just a couple, and what they measure it by are these scales in the back. And you're probably not going to be able to pick that up in the camera. But basically, these uh, small scales in the back, if it's a female, it's only going to go two, three, four of those scales. Um, if it's a male, it's going to go way down 10, 12 of those scales. And the size of the snake um, matters as far as uh, the scale size is going to be relevant to the size of the snake. But, you know, the length, you can see this, this snake has a smaller tail. 
um, than a big snake. So that's what I meant by the, the probe depth is going to be relative of the size of the snake. But females are always going to be very short, only going to go in just a tiny little bit. Um, and the, the males are going to go way down into the base of the tail. But with that ball on there, um, you're going to use like a, a Vaseline or a lubricating device. Um, you don't want to use anything that's going to impact the snake's ability to breed as far as sperm plugs and stuff like that. So I'm saying like you don't want to use um, like an anti, uh, any not antibacterial, but antibiotic cream, something like that could affect it. Um, you're going to want to stick with just like a basic lubricant like Vaseline um, to allow that probe to go down in and come back out. So popping and probing the two ways um, to sex a snake and the spurs um, are basically remnants of hind legs from many, many thousand years ago when these reptiles actually had hind legs. So that's all. Um, just a quick video of what those are back there. Um, you'll see it if you're involved in any of these uh, any of these forums or any of these Facebook pages for snakes. You know, once, twice uh, a month, you'll see somebody. What are these on my snake? I just found them. Is this a problem? Is this okay? Um, and you know, it is weird because the first time I saw them, I same thing. What are these things? So uh, that's all. Thanks again, guys. Like, subscribe, learn things together, and have a great day. Thank you.